Good morning. So, I know you guys are like, what the fuck is she doing doing a podcast? (laughs) But I'm like, why not? I feel like this is probably going to be the best way for me to like express myself and connect with you all at the same time without it being fucking awkward and cringing with my face in the camera all the time because sometimes I just want to talk to you guys and not necessarily be in the camera so some of you probably woke up this morning like why the fuck am I going to work who the hell told me it is okay to get up and go clock I get it you know what I mean I understand but what I do want to say is congratulations to you for being a hustling bitch and fucking get into a bag because there are some bitches laying up under a nigga right now um with all of his kids you know what I mean? Arguing with his baby moms and, you know, letting a nigga drive her car coming back on E. Like, there's somebody out there doing worse than you, is my point. Um, but then again, there's someone always doing better. So you just pick and choose which direction you're striving for. That's all I'm saying. Um, I created this podcast really, like I said, to connect with you all. And I feel like uh, I get so many questions in my DMs asking specific things. So what better way to do it than, you know, on here? So it's more so like we're just going to get through the day. And I know you guys can see the title. It says um, how to be okay with being okay," And I feel like that's something that. A lot of us do struggle with, you know, these days, everything is everything and a lot of shit is happening. So it's like people wake up with certain things on their mind that I feel we shouldn't wake up thinking about. Like people wake up thinking about how not to get sick from breathing in someone's air, someone else's air. And it's like, since when the fuck did we have to worry about breathing outside? Like, that's the whole point of free air, like, breathing, you know what I mean? Is you just, you just breathe. You don't worry about how not to die in the middle of the process. So it's like, we're, we're, we're living in a time of stress and concern and anxiety, and they know this. Don't ask me who they are, just rock with me. So you have to be able to center yourself and for those of you who are not um, new to my channel you guys already know that I'm very much so into of course manifesting and meditation and really digging deep when it comes to my emotion and I thought I had it before but I didn't (laughs) like I really thought that I knew what I was doing or what, you know, I thought that what I was doing was working and it it wasn't working. I had no idea that I had to go through certain things in order to um, recognize that I was doing this wrong the whole time. So now that I know that I don't have full control over everything, I can only change Um, so much in my life, but I am able to change things. You know what I mean? So when you get to a point where you're like, okay, there are just certain things that are out of my control. I cannot change. Fuck it. Like it's not going to make or break me. Shit is either going to go good or bad, but it's still none of my business. If people knew how to mind their own business, the world would be so that it would go smooth. It would. Um, so You have to be okay with understanding not everything is going to go right. It is a possibility that you could slip on black ice and, you know what I mean, fall. Like, it's a possibility that you could run into a glass door if the Windex is super amazing. Like, anything is possible. You just have to be okay with understanding that things happen. Once you can get over that hump of stressing and trying to make things perfect, girl, girl. And I know my analogies are probably like, yeah, what the fuck? But at the same time, it makes sense to me. Like, shit's going to happen and you're not going to expect it. And you're either going to make the decision or you have to make the decision to, like, dwell on it, be pissed, 
or be like, okay, fuck that happened. Let me be more careful. Like this time I have to be careful and I can't stress it. You know what I mean? By the way, it's like 7.05 in the morning. All in all, I just want you guys to have an amazing day. Um, I'm definitely going to do this shit every day if I can, because there's always something to talk about. There's always something in my DM that I need to kind of like help people understand. So I definitely appreciate you guys for reaching out to me, actually motivating me to do this. Um, You guys just have a good day. Don't allow the little shit to stress you. Um, don't be road raging with people, people I've learned with road rage. You're only going to interact with this person for a good five fucking seconds. If it goes any further than five seconds after someone doing something dumb in traffic, then that's because you, you just want to be angry today. So no road raging. Don't let that bitch at work stress you. You know what I mean? Like everybody has that one person at work. That's just a hater. Ignore her today. You know what I mean? She, who knows what she has going on? Just keep it pushing. Girl is probably not living her best. And there's no reason for you to stress over her problems. So make sure you guys are going to work happy. If you are not going to work, but you're getting up, still grinding on, you know, your own business. You're an entrepreneur. Focus on that. Create some goals today. Write down a list of things that you need to do for the day and check that shit off. Make sure that you are tending to yourself. And, like, really putting in the effort to make your day an amazing day. If we all put in 100% of the effort to be happy, I guarantee you, you'll see major results. Like, just never focusing on what it might be like to be pissed off. Yeah, that's... We shouldn't do that, so... Have a great day, guys. I really hope that, you know, today goes smooth. It is nice out here um, in Colorado right now. We are pushing through, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Peace out.